This amplification creates clusters of DNA, each originating from a single library fragment. Each cluster will act as an individual some raw data at the end of the sequencing run. This raw data is a collection of DNA sequences that were generated at each cluster. The differences between the different next-generation sequencing platforms lie mainly in the technical details of the sequencing reaction and can be categorized in four groups. Pyro sequencing thermal amplifier. The flow cell is a glass slide with lanes. Each lane is a channel coated with a lawn, composed of two types of oligos. Hybridization is enabled by the first of the two types of oligos on the surface. This oligo is complementary to the adapter region on one of the fragment strands. A polymerase creates a complement of the hybridized fragment. The double stranded molecule is denatured, and the original template is washed away. The strands are chromally amplified through bridge amplification. In this process, the strand folds over, and the adapter region hybridizes to the second type of oligo on the flow cell. Polymerases generate the complementary strand forming a double-stranded bridge. This bridge is denatured, resulting in two single-stranded copies of the molecule that are tethered to the flow cell. The process is then repeated over and over, and occurs simultaneously for millions of clusters, resulting in clonal amplification of all the fragments. By incubating specific ratios of magnetic beads with fragments of DNA, then the end overhangs are repaired into blunt ends. The three prime ends of the fragments are additionally demolated with a single base, allowing hybridization to the three prime binding overhang of sequencing adapters. The fragments are then ligated to the adapters. This ligation step is critical for sequencing, as the adapters will enable the DNA to hybridize to the surface of the sequencing reaction chip. The collection of adapter ligated fragments forms a library, which must be validated before being sequenced. Quantitative validation is done with PCR for two reasons. One, the adapter sequences already contain the primaries using DPCR, allowing quantification only of the adapter lines can have quickly. The way to circumvent edges platform limitations is to sequence the nucleotides multiple times. The number of times the nucleotide is sequenced is referred to as coverage or depth. Coverage per genome can be calculated by dividing the total output generated in a sequencing run by the total size of the sample sequence. For example, Running the human genome, which is approximately 3 billion base pairs, will yield approximately 333 times coverage on the Illumina High Seek 2900, which has a max output of 1,000 gigabase pairs. Vision. Transposons simultaneously fragment and tag the input DNA with adapters. Once the adapters have been ligated, reduce cycle amplification adds additional motifs such as the sequencing primer binding sites, indices, and regions that are complementary to the flow cell oligos. Clustering is a process wherein each fragment molecule is isothermally amplified. The flow cell is a glass slide with lanes. Each lane is a channel coated with a lawn composed of two types of oligos. Hybridization is enabled by the first of the two types of oligos on the surface. This oligo is complementary to the adapter region on one of the fragment strands. After bridge amplification, the reverse strands are cleaved and washed off, leaving only the forward strands. The three primings are blocked to prevent unlined priming. Sequencing begins with the extension of the first sequencing primer to produce the first read. With each cycle, Four fluorescently tagged nucleotides compete for addition to the growing chain. Only one is incorporated based on the sequence of the template. After the addition of each nucleotide, the clusters are excited by a light source and a characteristic fluorescent signal is emitted. This proprietary process is called sequencing by synthesis, or sequence in a massively parallel process. This image represents a small fraction of the flow cell. After the completion of the first read, the read product is washed away. In this step, the index 1 read primer is introduced and hybridized to the template. The read is generated similar to the first read. After completion of the index read, the read product is washed off and the 3' end of the template is deprotected. 
The template now folds over and binds the second oligo on the flow cell. Index 2 is read in the same manner as index 1. Index 2 read product is washed off.